Big Ninja in the building. Shamade John. Y'all, please forgive me. I just came off it last month. Daughter got, little baby girl got sick. And then family got sick. And it's been, it had been rough. So I'm back in action. I'm back in commission. But I'm going to say that for another video, another time. We're going to get straight into it. As you see, we got another side collector shoe review video. Welcome to Team Ninja. If you've never been to this channel before, make sure you hit the subscribe button and join Team Ninja today. If you're feeling, if you're rocking with me, make sure you at least like, comment, um, like, and comment. So that way the video can get pushed out, suggested to more people around the world that ain't experienced the Team Big Ninja. So we're going to get straight into it. Boom. Side collector standard box. Now, if you haven't seen none of my videos, when I say that the front on the box look like this, somewhere in America, for those of you all who don't know, that's what SIA stands for, S-I-A. S, somewhere I-N-A, America. Somewhere in America. When the front on the box looks like this, typically, most majority of the boxes, they flip open with a magnetic strip. But this one different today, he got the pull tab on it. And as you see, side collective, Vash 10 VB1 size 10. It's upside down. Box pull open like this. You already know Dev got that heat in there. I put it, I put the box on. Um, it didn't come like this. I, I actually put the box back wrong. So yeah. Oh man, flip it back. I already took the shoes out of here. Now this was a pre-order. This is not a this wasn't the first come, first serve. This was a pre-order that I got on the website back in March of March 25th of 2023, so about four months ago. So it took about four and a half to five months for this pre-order to get here. I got off a member discount. That's when the membership is actually useful when you get a discount. But yeah, so typically I'll show myself taking the shoes out the box and stuff like that, but with pre-orders, I ain't gonna lie, it's gonna blow your mood if you don't expect the shoe first before you get really into touching it and trying to show it off and take pictures of it and stuff like that. You wanna expect the shoe first because sometimes the factory, they put ink marks on it and they expect you to get it off and you run the risk of potentially messing up a shoe that you done waited for for God knows how long. You know, so that's why I try to look out for in case I need to send it back. Well, in the most cases for a pre-order, ain't no point in sending it back because you just gonna get a store credit. So you might as well keep the shoes at least and get a store credit. Like right here, the stitching, it's a little loose, so I need to clip that. So yes, here we go. Vegetan VV1s, raw Vegetan leather. The suede that's on the front of the toe box, that's surrounding the toe box, feels absolutely amazing. It's, it's super soft. So you got Veg Tan leather on the toe box, on the strap, the leather, uh, the laces are leather. And if you pull this, you see the inward part of the strap, it's raw Veg Tan leather, even on the strap. This shoe is nothing but straight quality. The shoe is fire. You got the graduation cap laces. I call it a graduation cap because that's what it looks like. It looks like the string that's at the the corner of the graduation cast when people graduate all the way up to the leather badge tan leather and then look at the stitching on the tongue i'm moving a little faster but i'm gonna show a detail review portion of it where i get close up on the shoe and the inside you got the fbcc front front boys country club i believe the whole entire inside is raw leather back of the heel to the insole back of the tongue raw leather then you got the FBCC on the back. And then just look at the stitching and the quality, bro. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, insane, right? The midsoles is white. White midsole, white bottom sole. So my this is not my first pair of VV1s. I have a review of the VV1, uh, VV1 breads or the VV1 blacks. Those are my first pair of VV1s. So if it's the same as those, which I think it's gonna be, this tongue is raw leather. It's not gonna feel good against your shins at all, zero. It, it's, the comfortability is gonna be on the, on, the, on the two or three until you break this tongue in by wearing it. Just wear it around the house, walk around it for about a good 20 to 30 minutes, break it in, and then after that, it should be straight. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get into a detailed review portion of it. Yeah, you really gotta inspect the shoe. But let's get it.
one thing I always do in my videos is I always try to get natural sun lighting. It's kind of partially cloudy today. I'm out in my back patio. It's a little different from what I typically do out in the front. They're mowing the lawn out in the front and it's really loud. And then the AC units in the back of this complex is loud too. So I just kind of had to pick a struggle. So I apologize for the annoying noise in the background. But I just wanted to give y'all a more closer look and natural lighting of the shoe. And you know, you see like little stains right there. That's how it came off the box. It's not really a stain. I think it's like from the box, the packaging, like maybe it got wet or something. It's not unbearable or anything like that. I can, I can wipe it off. It's not as bad as having an ink stain or something like that. You see, this shoe is gorgeous. Oh my goodness, look at the quality. What Dev be saying? Look at the quality. You ain't never seen stuff like that. Ain't nobody doing it like here over inside Collective. We don't use cheap materials. is very stiff this tongue is very stiff okay so it's just like the any other vv1 specifically the vv1 black and reds the breads if you have those the tongue area is very stiff the sock i have is even covering the area but i can still feel it's digging into the lower parts of my shin so just be aware of that if your bodies it's gonna be uncomfortable with the tongue until you can work the leather out that's around the tongue. So I would suggest that you wear these for 30 minutes a day just around the house. Just kind of walk around and then move around with it. It could be around 15, 30 is kind of a little over, over the top, but if you wanna get it done quick, most 30 minutes, minimum 15, just walk around and stretch it out. If you plan on putting these in your, your rotation for the week, Make sure you wear them at least like for a whole week straight for at least 15 to 30 minutes a day to work out that, that tongue. I would not want to be out in these for a long period of time. These is for show and go, show and go only. They are true to size, fits well. I'm a 10, this is a perfect 10. Like around here and everything feels comfortable. It's just the tongue. The tongue is the only problem. It's the only problem. So yeah. Let me know how you feel about these so far. Do you own a pair? Do you have a pair? Do you want a pair? Do you like this colorway? Do you think the colorway is good? Do you think it's trash? Let me know in the comment section below. Let's go ahead and get into the third person point of review.